Volkswagen, maker of the Beetle automobile, expands its production offerings to include the Microbus, which goes into production on March 8, 1950. Today is March 8, 2024, and I would like to bring you this day in history. Known officially as the Volkswagen Type 2, the Beetle was Type 1, or the Transporter, the bus was a favorite mode of transportation for hippies in the U.S. during the 1960s and became an icon of the American counterculture movement. The VW bus was reportedly the brain child of Dutch businessman Ben Pon, an importer of Beatles to the Netherlands who saw a market for a small bus and in 1947 sketched out his concept. Volkswagen engineers further developed the idea and in March 1950, the vehicle with its boxy utilitarian shape and rear engine went into production. The bus eventually collected a number of nicknames including Kumbai, for combined use vehicle and splitty for its split windshield. In Germany, it was known as Bühle. In the US, it was referred to by some as a hippie van or bus because it used to transport groups of young people and their camping gear and other supplies to concerts and anti-war rallies. Some owners painted colorful murals on their buses and replaced the VW logo on the front with a peace symbol. According to The Bug by Phil Patton, when Grateful Dead musician Gary Garcia died in 1995, Volkswagen ran an ad featuring a drawing of the front of the bus with a tear streaming down it. The bus was only the second product offered for Volkswagen, a company whose history dates back to the 1930s, Germany. In 1933, Adolf Hitler became the chancellor of Germany and announced he wanted to build a new he wanted to build new roads and affordable cars for the German people. At that time, Austrian-born engineer Ferdinand Porsche, 1875 to 1951, was already working on creating a small car for the masses. Hitler and Porsche later met. The engineer was charged with designing the inexpensive mass production Volkswagen, or people's car. In 1938, work began on the Volkswagen factory located in present-day Wolfsburg, Germany. However, full-scale vehicle production did not begin until after World War II. In the 1950s, Volkswagen arrived in the U.S., where the, where the initial reception was tepid due, to, due in part to the car's historic Nazi connections as well as its small size the usual the un and the unusual round shape which later led to it being dubbed the beetle in 1959 the advertisement agency dole jane dole dane bryn mock launched a groundbreaking campaign that promoted the car's diminutive size as a distinctive advantage to customers and over the next several years BW became the top selling car import in the United States. In 1972, the VW Beetle passed the iconic Ford Model T as the world's best selling car with over 15 million cars produced. Now i like to bring you another this day in history. Following Israel's withdrawal from occupied Egyptian territory, 
the Suez Canal is reopened to international traffic. However, the canal was so littered with wreckage from the Suez Crisis, it took weeks of cleanup by Egyptian and United Nations workers before larger ships could navigate the waterway. The Suez Canal, which connects the Mediterranean and the Red Sea across Egypt, was complete by French engineer in 1869. For the next 88 years, it remained largely under British and French control, and Europe depended on it as an inexpensive shipping route for all oil from the Middle East. In July 1956, Egyptian President Gamal Adel Nasser nationalized the canal, hoping to charge tolls that would pay for construction of the massive dam on the Nile River. In response, Israel invaded in late October and British and French troops landed in early November, occupying the canal and other Suez territory. Under pressure from the United Nations, Britain and France withdrew in December, and Israeli forces departed in March 1957. That month, Egypt took over control of the canal and reopened it to commercial shipping. Ten years later, Egypt shut down the canal again following the Six-Day War and Israel's occupied of the Sinai Peninsula. It remained closed for eight years, ending when Egypt's president Anwar el-Sadat reopened it in 1975 after peace talks with Israel. Now I'd like to bring you yet another this day in history. The USS Menrico, the USS Union, and the USS Vancouver carrying the 9th Mil Marine Expeditionary Brigade, Brigade under Brig General Franklin J. Crouch take up stations 4,000 yards off the Red Beach to north of Da Nang. First ashore was the Battalion Landing Team 3 9th, which arrived on the beach at 8.15 a.m. Wearing full battle gear and carrying M14s, the Marines met by sightseers. South Vietnamese officers, Vietnamese girls with lace, and four American soldiers with a large sign stating, Welcome, gallant Marines. General, General William Westmoreland, senior U.S. military commander in Saigon, was reportedly appalled at the spectacle because he had hoped that the Marines could land without fanfare. Within two hours, Battalion Landing Team 1-3rd began landing at Da Nang, da Nang Air Base. The 3,500 Marines were deployed to secure the U.S. Air Base, freeing South Vietnamese troops up for combat. On March 1st, Ambassador Maxwell Taylor had informed South Vietnamese Premier Phan Hu I quote that the United St that the United States was preparing to send militaries to Vietnam Vietnam. The three days three days later a formal request was submitted by the US Embassy asking South Vietnamese government to invite the United States to send the Marines. Premier Quat a mere figurehead had to had to obtain approval from real power general win van phu chief of armed forces council who approved but like westmoreland asked that the marines be bought ashore in the inconspicuous way feasible these wishes were ignored 
and the Marines were given a hearty, conspicuous welcome when they arrived. I want to thank you for watching today, and as always, stay safe and stay blessed. And remember to smile, because I love you, but more importantly, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ loved you, and that's the best love that you could have. If you like the content of this video, please give it a and comment down below. Those two things really help my channel, but what really helps me out is if you come over and join my little serendipity subby family I have here. Come on over and subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. And all you have to do is push that all notification bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a video. All right, everybody, have a blessed day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.